yeah. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Buzz Battle is finally fucking back. <laughs> finally back. And our I'm... audio is finally fixed. I fucking hope. I checked it three times before we recorded this. Can you hear me? Can you fucking can, hear us? Can you hear can me? Can you fucking hear us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Super excited. Uh, today, we're going to be a lot of fun and exciting things. Um, I was so excited to finally debut the wheel. And close. as we were setting up for the show, the wheel broke. It we... just it just broke. It just ripped right off the base of the stand. It had an arrow. It's gone. It had an the the arrow that was glued to the top fell off, and the base just, it just completely melted. But this is the wheel, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, woo woo. Uh, we're gonna figure out a way to fix it. I hope. Um, See, I, but for I those that ties, missed it, but he doesn't want um, that. we already had uh, pew wax. We already had hot sauce on the butthole, and the shirtless selfie profile picture. Um, pedophile mustache, or wait, one of those. Those are the four that have been added so uh, far. How do I have a mustache with? You're gonna need to grow in the mustache oh, and just the mustache. See, you shaved your face like an asshole. Yeah. You look. I I said it before, but you See, look I'm, like a fat baby. I'm it's gonna hold the upsetting. microphone right here. If you look at the to screen. To cover, to try and cover. You're not going to see that double chin, uh, <laughs> but this is motivation to lose weight after my hospital incident. So, yeah, uh, it, which makes sense. He's like, I don't get the beard to cover up my fat face anymore. That's why I did it. Now I have to lose weight. And I was like, damn, that's actually really smart. Yeah, Because yeah. <laughs> I've lost a little bit of weight here recently, but... Uh, this beard was n is never coming off. I will never let anyone see how truly fat my face <laughs> has gotten. That's a bold move, dude. Uh, but we do have uh, exciting shit. We're going to play a brand new game uh, for our opening challenge. And then I believe we're launching into some Halo. After Halo. This. I don't and know what, what one. I got one through four. Yeah. So. One of the Halos, where it's going to be Caleb and I, one-on-one. -on -one, and... I feel pretty confident this is going to be the first competition where Caleb just wipes the fucking floor. Be ready with me. for my punishment. <laughs> be ready for Yale to come. He's, he's so he's so. Be ready for me to come. What? what? I didn't mean. Yeah. <laughs> what? No, I, I meant to say that. No. I Hold didn't. on. The punishment is that I have an orgasm. <laughs> Buddy, I don't think you're. Uh, I don't know if you're doing this punishment. Thing I don't know if right you're way. ready for it. That's what the thing is. I'm not ready for it. Better, it doesn't sound like it. I mean, it a, sounds pleasant. You but better get I at least half chub for this thing, right? <laughs> but um, the first thing that we're going to do today um, is review our new newest beer. And this is a German uh, Hefeweizen. Uh, I believe it's Weihenstaufener is how you say that. No, I'm going to try. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm right on that. You got the bottle opener? Give me that yeah. fucker. Yeah, I'm right over. I think it's... Is it popped out? I'm pretty sure it's popped out. It's, it's popped out. Yeah, it's popped out. Everybody knows it's popped out. Get a pop dip. Oh, man, I thought it was a dark beer, too. Damn. No, it's... It's lighter. Hefeweizens are lighter. So, interesting story about this beer. Uh, this beer was the first one that I had uh, coming back from Quick. You're going to take the rest of it, you fucking slut. I thought, you, I thought that was I, ga I gave a gener... Well, this is your beer, so you drink that one, bitch. God, you son of a bitch. And look at, look at how nicely I had mine poured, too. That is a perfect fucking pour. Look at mine. You don't have any froth. You have supposed to have There's some. no... You're supposed to have some. Yeah, it was if I had done a full thing. Anyway. Probably can't even hear me. Sat it down. Anyway, um, yeah, this is the first beer that I had. Uh, we stopped in the airport in Germany, coming back from Kuwait, and some dude just got up in his uniform and uh, bought a beer and sat down, and all of us were like, what is this motherfucker doing? And he did it, and nobody said anything to him. So then everybody just jumped in line. Oh, so we yeah. were all giving each other money and like we would stand in line and like we would all be in different spots of the line. And as soon as we bought it, we'd go distribute the beer to the rest of the people. We got tore up in that little <laughs> section so of the good. airport. That's awesome. Like we were just like, fucking beer? We're going to have beer? Woo! Wait, so did you have this beer? 
I had this exact beer. Oh, so you already like have your opinion. Yes, but I haven't had it in a very long time. So I I hope this lives up to the memory of what I have of it. Because to me, it was the most delicious thing. But it might just be, you know, it might be just because you couldn't have it. It was I couldn't have. It's like when you finally got laid after a long. long Yeah, exactly. Like you're like just like oh my god, I'm in love with this chick, and she's fucking terrible. She believes in astrology. It was like I don't want to. She asked me what time I was born before we had sex. Like, I can't deal with what this. What was bitch. your nickname? <laughs> wow. Mm. Nope. It's still good. That's so good. It's Man, fucking delicious. Viking beer might not be the best. Yes. Uh, Hefeweizen's my shit. This, oh mm. my god. It's like fizzy. It's weird. You can see little bubbles. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, because uh, because I gave you a nice pour. No, that is a perfect pour. Here. Yeah. Tastes the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if it tastes the same, I'll take it back. <laughs> I just keep strategically switching it back and forth, where I always end up with a, a little more beer than you. <laughs> I don't have to work till tomorrow, so if this is roofied, oh, just we're make sure I stay on the floor. No, no, no. Uh, absolutely not. I would never do that to you. What? Um, yes, I, I absolutely love it. It's light, but flavorful. I, that's my favorite type of beer. Something that like, I like dark beers and I like the flavor, but like they weigh you down. There's so much in them typically that like you can have one before you're like, God damn, I got to take a fucking nap. Like yeah. you just feel like you've, you've put so much into your system. Or you do that like you move your belly and it sloshes around. Feeling, yeah, oh, it's just like uh, it's like thick like a milkshake. Like why is this why is this beer thick like a milkshake? That's that how I like my sense. women. Um, <laughs> yeah, Emma's gonna appreciate that. <laughs> you know what? I'll go ahead and do it for. You won't hear it, but the fans at home will be able to hear it. I, I threw in, I threw in a fuck you yell. Fuck you yell. Yeah. <laughs> We don't listen. We don't have headphones for this show, right? We're not playing drops. We're doing entertainment for the masses. Uh, so let's go ahead and rate this motherfucker. Um, like I said, it's light, easy to drink. You could sit here and slam these, but it's got plenty of flavor. It's absolutely delicious. Let me take another drink. Uh, oh man. All right, now since, let's see if, hey, fucker. (laughs) Um, Since we're rating this, uh, it's a German beer, we'll rate it, uh, no, don't, I already know what you're thinking. Just let me fucking do my shit, do your thing. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, I can already see the look on your face. I'm ready. It was like, I love this beer so much, I would eradicate all the other beers. Why you gotta take my shit? That, that was mine. I, I am funny see, too. I already know what you're thinking. I am funny too. It's like, <laughs> I would put these beers on a train. All the other beers. <laughs> <laughs> I really, if I did that, I then ha- would have to place this in type of a camp where I could concentrate on it. Yes, yeah, so okay. this is uh, this concentrated beer. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Listen, I'm gonna give this a very extremely high rating. Um, do we put it above the Icelandic beer, dude? I think taste wise, the Icelandic beer had more of a flavor. It had a because mm, it had a, what was it? Um, that cans over there, but it had some type of fruit it had in citrus it, but you like it. and like caramel notes. Yeah. Whereas this one, like. I think that I think the it's Icelandic beer. I think I like it a little more. This one, I want to say this one, but just because of what it did for me. So like, I'll never. It's like your. It's like your childhood friend, who was like a complete piece of shit. Oh, I got one of those. It was like, uh, <laughs> it was like you give like all these opportunities and you spend all this time with him, even though he keeps. He's such a fucking moron. So it's like you give them like a little extra leeway, and you're gonna keep them in your life. Because of what it did for you in the past. That sounds very but selfish. But that doesn't make it better. Sounds very selfish of a friend. Yeah. Yeah. 
I can't. Oh, I'm sitting here like, that's you. You're like, no, that's fucking me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Caleb is the king of asking for advice and doing the exact opposite of it. I fill it out like, hey, what do you think if I did this? What do you think if I did this? And, you know, everybody will side on one direction and I'll go, well, now I don't know what would happen if I did that. So now I got to do that. Yes. Um, let's just go. Let's not even focus on the terribleness of it. Let's just say let's vote it on. Um, rate it on the ability to conquer this if it's good that means it's a strong opponent and you wouldn't be able to invade it easily mm. so i'm gonna give this like france yeah like france would be like a bad one yeah it'd be like a really bad one yeah. um poland poland would be a really bad one poland right. would be the worst one poland was taken in 27 days um so I'm going to give this one a Russia in the winter. Mm. Can't fucking do it. That's a rough one. That's how fucking good it is. That's how fucking good it is. Uh, seriously, this thing is delicious. Um, these, uh, this Hefeweizen um, Weihenstaffener, um, it's available in stores. I highly recommend you go check it out. Um, I think like you will even catch it in, in Kroger. Like It's... It's not in every store, and you're definitely not going to find it in a gas station, but it is out there, so look for it. Fucking delicious. Sound like a infomercial, infomercial for, like, X-Files right there for a second. It is out there. Just continue working. <laughs> it is out there, and I want you to look for it. And if you see anything, please call the number at the bottom of your screen. We are looking for illegal aliens. Let's move on to, into our next thing, man. I Let's didn't get move... to rate this. Oh, you didn't? I'm so sorry. You're right. That's pretty good. <laughs> and there you have it ladies and gentlemen <laughs> no okay so i yes, would it's, say that it good. is uh, very light um i feel like you could drink quite a few of these and still pretty feel pretty good like yale said um i feel like the icelandic beer taste wise is better um for some reason i feel like it it was a little bit fizzy in a way to me because i did a great pour Anyway, uh, I mean, I, if in the sense of like being able to invade or take a drink at home, in the sense of things, right. So I like screwing with Yale and doing like a fifteen second delay, so that way it looks like the camera like messed up every now and then. But anyway, so yeah, <laughs> so doing the the invade thing i would say it is great britain back in the day when we had wooden boats and they had the biggest navy ah okay nice wow high praise yeah. high praise yeah. high praise all right well there you have it ladies and gentlemen an excellent beer tough to invade check it out weihenstaffener hefeweizen bavarian style bavarian the world's oldest brewery hey interesting and that's your fun fact for the day. Take that shit off the fucking oh, box, just, right. motherfucker. Right. Uh, we're about to play our new game. Mm. We're about to... I'm so excited for this. Because the the winner of this gets to pick a punishment. And I think um, what we have is uh, we have brought two different items. And um, we are both going to reach into the box blindly and try to guess the item that the other person has brought. And... Do you think, should we do it by number of guesses or number of time that it takes? I think you can do one guess, and then <clears throat> if you don't get it... Then the, the timer the, starts? The No, 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 you get two hints, and then if you don't get it, then we just go from there. I'm saying, how do we decide the winner? Do we want to say, like, the winner is the person who took the least amount of yeah, time yeah, to figure it out? Or the least amount of guesses? Least amount of guesses. Okay. All right. Least amount of guesses. So, least amount of guesses uh, wins for this. And, uh... I think since we'll be reaching with both hands, how about like you, whoever's not going, holds the microphone for the other person? Yeah. Does that yeah, work? Do that. All right. Cool. Yes, I'm going to get myself a... Goddamn, dude. I love having a show next to a fucking fridge full of alcohol. <laughs> like, I know nobody watches. I know very few people give a shit about this show. Thanks to 12 of you. This show is 
fun as fuck, and I have a good time. So I don't yeah. care. If we get huge off of this, it'll be the greatest thing that's ever happened to me because I did it doing something that is in the legitimately smallest, fun and silly. The smallest fucking room there is. <laughs> like, this This is about as big as my mom's closet. I bought specifically this apartment to have an extra room to record stuff like this. Like, this is why we're here. <laughs> I fucking love this. All right, so my item is already in the box. Okay. And what I'm going to do is pick it up and show it to the camera. So right, you go ahead around. and look away. Yeah. I'm going to open the thing in the box. Am I reaching to the top or through the top there? Um, I say you're going to reach around the front. Okay. Alright, I didn't know okay, where Okay, don't look at the lid. camera. Don't look at the camera. It's the hard to do. give okay. it away. Huh? So it's hard to do because it's, it's fucking right there, you know? Alright, you know what? Alright, just close your eyes. Just close your eyes. Alright, the camera has seen it. You know what it is. Is it in front of me now? The box, now it, Now you reach in through the top of the box. Alright, All right, I got your microphone. All right, You're reaching in through the top. Okay, so yeah, you can't see it now. Okay. We're sitting low enough. Alright, here we go. You're going to do one-handed? Yeah, just, just one-handed. Okay. Now, I want you to let me know before you're about to guess. Uh, it's firm. It has a strong tip. Widens out and then goes narrow again. Mm hmm Yeah. And then it has like a suction cup part to it. I don't... Oh, man. What is okay, this? so for those of you that saw it, um, yes. Yeah, it, it is. And um, wondering, like, has it... Yeah, it, it has. So... It's a butt plug. I fucking knew it. As as you Did you that. just pull it out and then say the get? You fucking cheated. I, I, you pulled I it out before you get. I said, I want you to tell me before you're about to guess. Oh, I don't know. I'm drunk. You pulled it out, looked at it, and said, oh, yeah, it was a butt plug. I totally knew it was a butt plug. Yeah, yeah I knew. So, yes, to answer your question, yes, it is. And, and you, Yes, it's probably been you. Has it? Yeah. On Yale. Did probably. I bother to clean it? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You should wash your hands. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> you, we'll wash our hands right. together after this next next part here. Yeah. Um. I knew I wasn't going to win this one. I knew he'd be able to guess butt plug right away. Well, I just I, wanted to make I him put his hands on I a butt plug. I described it like I knew exactly what it was. Caleb, you definitely cheated. I don't know how to handle this. If I if I guess whatever you put in here You're on the first try, then I win because of you pulling it out. If, if it takes me a couple of chances, we'll I say I want to won. say my hints before you do it anyway because they're, it's pretty funny. Okay. so Go ahead and put your shit in the box. So, uh, just to fill the audience in, um, Caleb had to... We were out shopping together, and he went and got this item... And uh, I said, hey, did you bring your thing? And he's like, no, nah, shit, let's run to the store real quick. And uh, his next question was, do you have a blender? And I'm like, what? <laughs> so I don't know what he ended up going with. He decided not to blend it. But I love the genius thinking in that uh, if I shred it, you can't fucking guess it at you all. Can't you can't win. I would win one. Win. All right, so. All right, hold on. So I'm just going to give you some hints here, all right? So one, you handle this on a daily day basis. Two, it's the reduced fat version, so you might not recognize it as well. Three, this is more than you've played with in a day. Go ahead. The reduced fat. I'm about to put my hand in something wet, aren't I? Uh, what it is. Uh... Oh, I don't like that. Oh, it's little Vienna sausages. Oh, there it is. Yeah, he handles uh, one every day in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's, so, it's so unsettling. It's so unsettling when you're just like, it's wet. I don't like it. <laughs> little Vienna sausage. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bowl jump. of Vienna sausages. <laughs> All right. ready to eat? <laughs> All right, I'm going to say that I won that one since you pulled your shit out and then guessed it. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> I'm going to win Halo, so it's fine. Neither, 
I love the way our brains work. We had a competition, and instead of trying to win it, we said, what's the best way to fuck with the other person? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God damn it. That's what makes this show great. Like, I didn't even like, care. Like, we to... could have sitting here and been like, oh, I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy, like, a super specific part for a computer that you'd never be able to guess. Yeah, it, this oh, is a microchip. Oh, like, huh, that's not fucking entertaining. What's entertaining is putting my hand at a bunch of Vienna sausages and then putting his hands on a butt plug, like both stuff that gets shoved into orifices. That's the way our brains work. Yeah. You don't get this kind of entertainment on any other show, ladies and gentlemen. See, now, clearly the reduced <laughs> fat version of yours, right? The reduced, you're saying my dick is fatter? Yeah, but uh, that's That short. hint didn't make any sense, by the way. That made me think, so is about, this ranch dressing? Like, so what it's am all I about, about to put so my I was in? thinking like, you handle your dick every day. You handle these every day. So those are like the same. So it's like the same size. I don't room. handle Vienna sausages every day. Your dick, I'm saying, is the size of a Vienna sausage. So that's what you handle every day. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Nobody's ever said it was that big before. That's nice. Jeez, dang, you gay. Oh, wait. You pulled yeah, out already. Out. Oh, shit. I was going to say I was going to hold one up. But I was like, you know what? For flaccid, you know, no. it's not that bad. Well, probably average Chinese guy. No. No, it's average, average man. Shut up. <laughs> you don't know. You know, uh, uh, yeah, I, I pulled it out. Uh, I, I don't typically pull out, but. I, I hate you. I hate, I hate that when the camera comes on, you are like chucking and jiving and trying to come up with every little tech. It's just like, just be here. Just be in the moment. Mm. <laughs> All right. Here. Cheers, buddy. Hers. Hell yeah. I'm on a diet, so I've been drinking a lot of Bud Light seltzers. Here's the problem with being on a diet drinking Bud Light seltzers. If you drink fucking ten of them, that's still a thousand calories. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm, I'm supposed to be on a diet and not supposed to drink very much. But here's my IPA right there. Yeah. It's weird for Dedicated you to have for a, you. It's weird for you to have a shaved face with such thick chest pubes, by the way. Those motherfuckers are no Everyone's joke. Everyone's seen me pretty much shirtless, so I can't, uh, I can't focus on anything else. To be honest with you, hold on. So, I just want to say two things. One, I believe me and Yale's relationship now is to the point where we leave the bathroom door open at all times. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 Whatever. Um, I just came to his house immediately, took a pee, left the door open. He then took a pee after me, left the door open. We're both just standing there talking to each other like it doesn't matter. It's hilarious yeah. to me. Um, um, also, I refuse to do with that with my girlfriend because I need some sex appeal between us to stay. Like, it's it's funny. She will run into the bathroom to fart, but I can hear it clearly. Like that's that it makes me laugh every time because now she'll fart and it'll be so loud that she'll start laughing because she knows that I. And heard she's it. in the bathroom and, laughing. Yeah, and that's she, what's funny. And then, like she's laughing because she knows that I heard it. I'll just hear like through a closed door. I'll just hear. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh man. Um, so Yale, know, have you ever? had a psychotic um girlfriend in the aspect or ex-girlfriend that would not leave take a drink room. at home you I'll said in the in aspect, the aspect. Yeah. <laughs> so oh we i was about to wrap it up and go into halo now we're launching into something now, let's i, fucking, I gotta let's tell this story it. about um one of my past past ex-girlfriends all right um, I had talked to a friend of mine, and he was like, "Dude, you got to tell that story." I'm like, "All right, yeah, let's. I'll tell my story." So, I have this ex, right? And we dated for a long period of time. We were really good friends afterwards. Um, so she came over to my house and wanted to um, me to watch the, watch her dogs, and I was okay with that. And we were broken up at the time, but we were still friends. And I was just dating around, like, well. I was talking to somebody pretty seriously. And uh, so we were just hanging out, having a good time. And then she left. I was hanging out with the dogs. She came back. I thought maybe she was just going to pick up her dogs and just leave. So then I'm like, all right, well, hey, I'm going to head out of here and go get me some food. And she's like, oh, I'll, I'll come along. 
I'm like, uh, no. Uh, so I'm, you know, I'm a nice guy. So I was like, oh, I, I guess I could just order in food. Yeah, I guess I could just order in food. So then, um, I was like, all right, well, she's been here. It's like nine o'clock at night. I got to go call the girl I'm talking to. So I just called her my girlfriend to her to try and like get her to get out the door. And so I go to go call my girlfriend and this, oh, so you tell her like, Hey, I'm going to hop on a phone call with my girlfriend real quick. Yeah. Even though it's not that serious, you're just trying to send her the message of like, Hey, right. Bounce. Yeah. I'm like, why are you still here? So, okay. So I, I think I know the girl you're talking about. And based on this, there's a history of you repeatedly telling this girl that you're not interested in, in pursuing this anything further and yeah. her um, ignoring all of those signals and continuously it's not even pressing signals. forward. Fucking and like you flat out tell her, like, and she just continuously bull rushes ahead mm-hmm. forward, forcing you to deal with her presence. Right. Yeah. So at this point, when somebody like that asks you to watch their dogs, you say no. I can't. Yeah. I have it's AIDS. It's like dogs, you know? I have AIDS. I can't. Oh, yeah. I don't want to get your give your dog AIDS because I am a do- animal now, rapist. Please now, go here's away. the best part of this story. So, I go make this phone call. Ends up being some phone sex. And I got the, I got the chick on speakerphone. Mm. It's, it's getting pretty loud and intense, okay? And we weren't physically intense, but you know what I mean. So we, I, she just stays down there and stays in my house. And I'm thinking she's hearing everything. And I'm like, well, fuck it. Maybe she'll fucking leave. Well, I come to find out, I get off the phone call. I go downstairs to get a drink. She's still fucking there. And she tells me I left, took my dogs home and came back while you were on the phone. Call the police. Right? Call the fucking police. Oh my gosh. Get this woman out of your fucking house. Jesus Christ. You know, I, uh, the looks of this woman that wanted to stay with me is she should have just known that she was out of her league and get the hell out. The First off, I've seen your this two is ex-wives. College. This is college. I've seen your two ex-wives. You've had, I was good looking at college. I've seen your ex-wives. Right, those are who I settled with. They look like you told a blind person what humans looked like, and they had to sculpt it, and they've never sculpted before. That's what they look like. It looked like Cronenberg movie monsters. No, they rode in the Hindenburg and got burned up. That's what it was. It messed up like that. Looks like you aliens are trying to quickly sketch what they remember a bulldog to look like was your first wife. It's pretty fucking accurate. Her nose was like, oh my god. And she was mean. Like you don't get to be that ugly and mean. Like really, only you should be she, a nice person if that's your face. Everyone's hated Yale, and I don't it, exactly know why. Um, I understand why she didn't like me. I threw up on the side of her car the first night I met her. Yeah, but that's you were on the side of the car. If you threw up on the inside, which you didn't, you threw up on the yeah, outside. No, I threw. Yeah, I made it up to the, the outside. I, I could get why me, you didn't like me. Um, but she like straight up hated me. And I think it's because she recognized a threat. She was like, this person is too honest. She'll tell him that he's going to needs to leave me, which I did. That was the the first thing that I said. And I was like, buddy, you're my best friend. If ever you invite me to hang out with the both of you, I will do it. And I will do it with a smile on my face. But I need you to know my honest opinion. This is the only time I'll say it. And then I'll never talk shit about her again. She sucks. She doesn't care about she you. She didn't suck at all. I was like, she's terrible. She's mean to you. She doesn't treat you well. Those are true. She, and she does not care about you as much as you care about her. I don't think she's good for you. And you said, I think you're wrong. I was like, you don't see her the way I see her. And I said, that's fine. Last time I'm going to say it. And I was right about all that shit. She's fucking terrible. Now, now the second wife, she liked you so much that one day we were me and Ye were working out <laughs> and we meet up with her at subway there in uh bell fountain mm-hmm. and 
I I was in Yale's car. We get out. She was in her car. She gets out and she runs and gives Yale a hug. No, 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 no. Uh, that's here's what happened. You two were arguing, and I was trying to like help you out. So I was like, "Hey, like, let's all settle down." And I was like, "I was like, how about a hug?" And she turns and goes to hug me, and I said, "Not me, your husband, you fucker." Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, "Get your fucking hands off me! Hug your husband!" I was trying to smooth over your relationship. Hmm. And I was like, "God damn, dude, she fucking sucked so bad." That anyway, was the worst, the second one. Enough of our shitty stories. Now it's time to watch our shitty gameplay. <laughs> I made you touch a butt fuck. <laughs> That's going up his ass. Wait, wait, since I since I won, I gotta I gotta come up with a challenge or a punishment. Yeah, yeah, we add it to the broken wheel. We'll add the punishment to the broken wheel. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh! What shall we do? What shall we do? Now stay tuned to the end of Halo because there will be a punishment. You know what we'll do? We'll place. do both punishments at the end of this. All uh, right. Yeah, we'll do that. What Two we're going to try to do is record, uh, so the Halo is going to be recorded on our TV, mm-hmm. but and then we'll narrate the game as as you're watching it. That's what we're going to try to do. We'll see if it works. Yeah, if, if not, you'll probably see my ass crack standing up again. Hell yeah. Yeah, you know you liked it. All right, check out us, and s- keep watching the rest of the episode to find out who wins and what the fucking punishment is. You're going to want to see this. You're going to want to see this. You are watching... A buzz battle. A buzz battle. Buzz battle. Buzz battle. Buzz battle. Woo! <laughs> Did I get you? All right, ladies and gentlemen, you are about to watch some of the most exciting entertainment possible. It's not bad. I mean, it's it's fine. <laughs> uh, we're starting off with a little Halo one on ones, guys. To score. Yeah, we'll turn that shit down a little bit. Here's Yale. So uh, I get the sni- his- yeah, I get of course. I, I get the sniper rifle, which automatically gives me the advantage. I I can't find any long range weapons like I think at this point. <laughs> now, it should be known that Caleb is much better at this game than I am, and I fully expected to get my ass spanked. But the interesting thing with Halo is if you can get the superior weapons, now it's a different ball game altogether. I do my sneak on the side here, bob and weave, but there's no sprint because we're playing Halo 2 at this point. So you got one speed. There's no sprinting, diving, crouching, like sliding, whatever, like Call of Duty. It's it, I can see him at this point. I just knew I was going to get taken out there. Mid-air shot. I just want to point that out. Mid-air shot. So now it's starting off and we're like, holy shit, fellas, we have a game on our hands. There's not any... Now the resistance, uh, the urge to that. screen peek is very strong and very hard to resist. Yeah. I tried my best. So... I, I finally get my fucking long range weapon here. I get, I get a little nervous because I don't see anybody for a while. And I'm like, I don't know how the spawn works. So I'm like, is he near me? <laughs> And yeah, battle rifle. Yeah, that it, you're gonna lose that fight every time. You're never gonna win that. That's a no-brainer. Here I am being stupid trying to drive. Yep. Hitting right trigger. Yeah, uh, he <laughs> he hopped in the passenger seat of the warthog. So now that I have been killed, I'm a lot more nervous. I'm a lot more cautious. I play it safe for the most part. I'm an idiot and didn't see him jump off the side. Oh yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I think I, I think you still get me on this one. I don't know. Can't remember. Um, I th- yeah, I ended up getting you because of grenades. I think. Oh yeah, that's right. You landed a grenade like perfectly. Yep. Yep, right here. Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. No, I got you, but then I uh, confused you by which side I was coming from. Like, the amount of time that it took, you were like, you had no idea where I was at this point. 
Yep, reload killed me. I was reloading <laughs> on both guns. Yeah, that's what it was. Dude, the reload gets me this entire video. I cannot figure out how to reload because it is not anywhere near the Call of Duty controls. Reload is RB. So now it's uh, two to one. And this is, a, I think it was only a five minute match because at the point we didn't know. Yeah, we were how, still figuring out the technology. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how, since we did this five minute match and it was so close, we decided to go best two out of three. Yeah. Because this match was very close. I think within time frame and obviously kills. Yeah, I had no chance on that one. Yeah, I finally got a good weapon. We got the Nettler. Yeah. So now it's tied up. At this point, I uh, I start trying to bargain with them, and I'm like, "Hey, One man, if we left. if we run out of time, you know, is there a why don't we both put on a punishment and like call it like even?" <laughs> I was like, "No, absolutely not." No. And he I'm was like, this. "Fuck you, I'm fuck you. This. We are 100% doing this. You shut the fuck up." <laughs> gotta kill me here i don't know how i come uh, there's no way i came up on you oh uh oh. here's here's what happened 30 seconds i thought left. i could sneak you thought you could sneak and i end up uh. in a close distance fight with a fucking sniper and i still think i should have won i think i hit i shot you enough that i should have won this exchange but you know halo you might have dual wield some machine guns on this point near you a sniper rifle Ten. Oh, oh no, because I missed. I missed all my shots. I hit you once. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. Hit any one of those shots, I'm a winner. Boom. Yep. Just in the last second. Now just now wait. Play. Just wait, everybody. But it's much. <laughs> it's much closer now. Yeah. So now we're thinking. Okay. So obviously, you know, Caleb's better. We see that. But you know, let's move into the second match. Let's see. Let's see what happens. So now we're playing Halo Three. Yes. And the controls change just slightly. I think reload goes back to X. So now I'm trying to hit RB most of the time when I try to reload and it doesn't work. See how it gets to jump on me here. Then he gets the rocket launcher. Oh, it should be important to note that it was only part way through this game that I realized we could see each other on the radar. <laughs> really? I didn't. I knew that the whole time. I did not. <laughs> At some point in this game, I realized that the red dot pops up, and I was like, oh, that's nice to know. <laughs> see, now I hear the sniper rifle, which <laughs> scares me, but lets me know that you're on the other side. <laughs> so I just did like a nice test. Yeah, I'm trying to no scope here. That's ain't, ain't gonna win that one. And I died. We killed each other. <laughs> That's one of the That's some one. of the worst shooting and moving <laughs> and some of the worst tactics ever. But <laughs> now take take where I'm at. Where I'm at right now, standing. There is like 15 like oh, seconds shit. of me and you just running around that in a circle, yeah. trying to chase each other. Yeah, and it's then finally like one of us will jump over. <laughs> It's a lot of looking for each other, unfortunately. And again, you see that weapons matter very much. Like, you can have really good tactics, but... Oh yeah, Yale is like the champ of throwing grenades. Me, I'm just, I just fucking toss him. My whole goal here was just to trick him into what direction I was. And this bitch runs away. Yep. <laughs> this bitch runs away. I hear the launch thing and I was like, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, nope, not going to do it. I think it wasn't until we played this round that I realized left trigger was throw a grenade. Oh, this one needs to land another good grenade. Hehehe. <laughs>
Look at me. I am the sniper now. I think you beat me so bad in this one. It's hey, like, don't give it away, slut. I don't remember. Yeah, beat your fucking ass. I mean, I, I mean, I whipped it. Yeah. Let me see you whip, whip it, baby. I'll whip it right. Get a grip. Uh, see, my grenades just suck. Where you are. Oh, somebody over here. See, I don't know how to reload. So I just flip weapons. <laughs> yep. Yeah. EMR, man. Not gonna lose with that weapon. That is... That weapon is the shit. So now that I got this weapon, I'm way more cocky. I, I realize that I can fuck up, so I just start pressing forward. And this is where I noticed the red dot. I was like, holy shit! <laughs> this rocket launcher does not help me. <laughs> it came pretty fucking close. I'm just sprinting yeah. away like... Nope, 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 nope. Yep. <laughs> I got I gotta reload. I am screaming at this point. It's like I don't <laughs> understand why I have to reload so much. Oh, we were both like uh there's points in these games where we're screaming. This is where Caleb starts yelling. This is where he becomes upset. Oh, this is I think this is where we spin around the circle like four or five times. Yeah, we do a lot of dancing. <laughs> we do a lot of dancing. <laughs> It's really bad. <laughs> this this next thing, it's so bad. Oh my god. Oh. The amount yeah. of misses. Uh, yeah. Ah. I mean, it's it's yeah. embarrassing. <laughs> this is how I expected me to look and like the opposite of you. I figured you just dominate. I mean, I don't think I'm inaccurate if you watch my screen. I no, just you just don't you have, have a weapon. You have a shit weapon. Five and there's yeah. remaining. It's. It's such a difference in weapons that it you can't you can't overcome that with skill. Never overcome. Oh, and that that hurts so bad. That hurts so bad. <laughs> I was like, no. I was like, I was, I was on a killing spree. <laughs> this, this was so much fun, man. We, we all used to just get together and play this stuff as kids. Like this was, like it very quickly accelerated from, uh, like Golden Eye with your friends to this. Like it was so quick. I think this is my official scream here. Yeah. yeah, that's when he screamed when you lost even though you had the battle rifle. I was like, I feel your pain, buddy. That just happened to me. Well, it's because I didn't reload it. <laughs> From the last time we battled, I didn't reload it. And I was like, why do I have to reload? Good grenade toss. Good grenade toss. Eh, that's close. Yeah. But I mean, and our friend who was just a beast at this game, he would just kill everyone. And like, it was yeah. zero fun to it. He just, you knew he was going to murder you. Yeah, he'd be like, you know, he was gonna murder now. you a bunch. I was like, let's go outside and throw a football. Because he can't throw a football. Yeah. And, uh, and then I was like, that was, I didn't even really want to play f football. I just needed to humble that motherfucker and be like, hey, don't forget. All right, don't fucking forget. Right now, you can't throw or catch. So just <laughs> don't forget. Well, you, we know what's really going on here. All right, don't don't get cocky. <laughs> Ooh man! Oh shit, that... dude! I was watching your screen and I was like, "Damn, man, I'm doing pretty good here." Nope, that was you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, good movement over Caleb yeah. the rocket launcher. Like, Hell nice yeah. play, Caleb. Uh... <laughs> that was not me. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's. That's the moment where I realized that I was like, I'm, I have a chance at winning. But the, uh, ooh, ooh, get good, scrub. 
Oh, well, I started getting. Oh, hey, look, I learned how to reload. <laughs> My woman needs to learn to leave me alone. Like, this is the seventh text message in a row. Like, like hey, back girl, off. I'm doing something. We're making important content. We are watching yeah. ourselves play video games. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this Nerd. is what the people want. <laughs> Hey, this is way better than being able to just do it with the camera. Doing it this way is way better. Yeah, uh, I enjoy this. Uh, I get to recap and talk shit. Be like, hey, remember this? Remember this? Yeah, that that play of with the rocket launcher? Fucking... I realized I was going to die in that exchange, so I tried to <laughs> make you chase me. <laughs> What I, what makes me laugh is that every time the person who dies with the battle rifle, the other person takes it. Yeah, exactly. 100%. <laughs> grenade. Yeah. Give me a grenade too. Yep. Yep. Thank you. One minute, <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> the other person goes back and takes it over. I tell you, another person who's really good at this game is Jamie. Okay. If we ever play Halo with him, I just you're gonna die. The, the fact that I did this well in this game blew me away. Like you were so fucking pissed. I, right. I I don't understand how I lost that one. That one was bizarre. Thirty seconds remaining. I think I just take off on this one. See, I'm mad that they still don't have sprint because to me, like. I don't. I, I would. I would. I would get to the other side quicker, and instead of like it taking me 15 seconds to get there. Ten seconds remaining. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know where you are at all. Oh, wait. Like, where? Oh, what the fuck. There she. Is. Yep. Yeah. Game over. Woo! 14 to five. Yeah. Spanked that fucking ass. Oh, I spanked that ass. I spanked it hard. So now we go and we play Halo 4. Which I, I hate. Which uh, I did not expect. I thought we were sticking to the original Halos made by Bungie. So I didn't know there was upsetting. a difference. Yeah, it's all they, in one box package that I got. Yeah, here. it's a different company. Um, oh. This was made by 343 Industries. Bungie like had wrapped up their story like with halo they felt like they had brought it to a nice close and they were like we want more halo and they're like nope and so now we'll see in this one it's so much more complex and confusing it's not just point yeah. shoot react now all this shit that he knows that i don't co starts yeah. coming into play yeah like also, there's a sprint button everything all the controls turn into call of duty yeah also uh should be noted that this is not the original game that we played. The original game that we played, um, he was ahead and beating my ass, and I came yeah, back yeah, from yeah. behind and um, lost by like one or two kills. And, and just it was, like the it history was, of this podcast, it did not save. It did not fucking save. Uh, <laughs> it did not record properly. So you were one makeup game. Yeah. Where it's just like, we gotta have something, man. We gotta have the tiebreaker, so let's yeah. see what it is. And Neil doesn't move, so I just continue to jump back and forth. Trying yeah, to he figure where he's at with that keeps... radar. It's to figure out where you are in the ra on the radar. That's why I do that. If you pop up red, then I can figure out where you're at. Neil's going, ah! <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yep, running away. I mean, Needler, I got no shot against a Needler. And I can't, yeah. I just, I can never get to any good weapons, and I'm just fucked from Jump Street. And Caleb, last time, since I almost came back, he made sure to keep, continuously keep me away. Yeah. And I was like, you have to be shitting me here. I thought I had him. Boom. Because I played that fairly well, and yeah. uh, still, just because it's the Needler, there's no fucking chance of victory. So here I was, we go. We'll I was getting, I was getting real problem. salty at this point. I was getting real fucking salty. Because we've realized that Halo is all about who has the superior weapon. It's pretty much how it goes. 
You'll see here soon when I pick up a different type of weapon. I mean, you've been... You've been seeing for <laughs> the last two matches. <laughs> see, to me, like, watching this match right now, I feel like it's a shark uh, trying, to, trying to catch a fish or whatever you call it. Like, I, I just chill back, wait till I see you on the radar, and take off. So I hear him jump through. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> I sprint jumped and it just launched me. Hiding, trying to get. Uh, finally. finally. Yep, he gets a gun. Finally. Now, now we're in business. Let's... But look, but look, there is the superior weapon to that right here. Fucking, oh man, yeah, that thing absolutely wrecks people. Yeah, it's bad. It's... I just like sprinting and it pop back out. Turn around because I'm like, did he even hit over here? I don't know which side he's on. That was so infuriating. That was so infuriating. That death right there. Now I'm screaming. Now I'm screaming because I finally got a hold of some weapons and I'm still losing. And I'm just, at this point, if we would have had it recorded, you would have just heard. Yeah, I think I, this is where I tell you to go get the weapon. I was like, go get your this weapon. This is when you're allowing me to go get it, and, uh, yeah. and I didn't. Yeah, you didn't know I was standing up there. So then when you looked, I was like, don't you shoot I mean, at me. The amount of difference between this game and last game. I mean, last game, I beat his fucking ass, and this game, he is like, all right, little buddy, go over there and get your rifle so you got a chance. I was like, what the fuck has happened? <laughs> I just hadn't played Halo in so long that when it turned into Call of Duty controls, it's game over. See that thing just It didn't matter yeah. that I put way more rounds in him. Like it was it was too late. And my shield was down. And it didn't matter. Which is why this game's kind of I had a I had a half shield and yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, bullshit. I still don't even know the maps. This motherfucker's launching from side to side and hunting me down like a little rat in a hole. Uh, yeah, at this point I'm just screaming, it doesn't fucking matter how good I am! I can't fucking shoot anybody! What the fuck?! <clears throat> yeah, I was, uh... He almost killed himself with a grenade. <laughs> yeah. Like, at this point, I'm convinced that I'm better than you at Halo. You just get the fucking Sam, and it's all set. And nothing else I can do. Sam? Is it, it the Sam, Sam or the Saw? Saw. I don't know. Well, they're not real weapons, so, like, I don't... Yeah. This is one you, you definitely should have. No, never mind. Not that one. There's an, I think it's the next one where uh, you literally take me down all the way, no shield, and I just turn around and blast you with this thing. It's... I. Oh my god. <laughs> so this was the score that it was last game that you didn't get to see. But then you, I started the greatest yeah. comeback of all time, yeah. and I think it ended up like 80 to 100 at the end. Yeah. But, uh, but I think I say pistols at this point. And they're like, hey, we're, we're going to come at each other with pistols. And I'm like, I'm down eight kills, so... I was like, I don't know where he's at. Yeah.
I'm like, how is he not gone with the Needler? This, uh, oh my god. I was like, I don't understand. None of those yeah. Needler shots hit him. None of them. None of them hit him. See, they're like supposed to be like homing, and they definitely don't work yeah, they, in these situations. Yeah, they, 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 they homed in on me just fine. Yeah. At this point, I go get a... I like this one. This one actually made me feel impressive, except for I should have died with that grenade. Yeah, the grenade was up your asshole, and you didn't die. Like, Caleb's ability to survive grenades is probably the most impressive thing you'll see in this game. Just keeps um. launching back and forth, like, in the air. He's like, it doesn't matter if he knows when I'm landing. Um, that's when I learned that the beam rifle only has two shots. <laughs> and you jumped and killed yourself. <laughs> I was like, you don't get this kill, alright? You know what? <laughs> you don't deserve it, and I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> Fuck you. I will not consent to this rape. I will not consent. Yeah, that's... That's really me, like, jumping off the building so that the CEO doesn't stick it in my bum. Yeah, I'm trying to go. Okay, so apparently in this game, the pistols are more than those, which is bullshit. Because in so, every other Halo game, the pistols are stronger. So, fine. I get an ovary shield, and I say, I wanna, I'm want i going to try and melee him to death. And so I take off, and I'm like, what is melee? <laughs> I can't hit the fuck. I know. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much I shot him. It still didn't fucking matter. It's toying with me, like a cat that's caught a mouse but doesn't kill it. Just keeps letting it run like six inches and then grabbing it again. That's what he's doing. Thirty seconds left. I think I tell you to go. Get that Come on! Game over. Yeah. Ugh. Hey, at least I got second. Yeah, I mean, at least. <laughs> oh my god, dude. What a freaking brutal. Freaking brutal. I hated it so much. <sighs> yeah. Um, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Halo. Uh, Caleb won. Fair and square. One could argue that it wasn't fair, but we're going to say that he won fair and square, and he chose to add the punishment. Karaoke. Karaoke. Um, you're going to have to sing a song that only you will hear and nobody else will be able to yeah. hear, so you'll be singing a cappella on, on the podcast like <laughs> while everyone watches you suffer, and it's such a good one. I mean, God, does that ever fucking suck <laughs> so yeah thanks for tuning in to another episode of buzz battle uh you will actually see our first in-person guest on the next episode of yeah. buzz battle and be sure to check out the next end of debauchery and be ready for backstreet boys just saying backstreet boys do i have to learn the moves of course ah fuck i really hope you end up with that punishment and not me <laughs> that's what's gonna happen it's all guaranteed. right See you later, Slits. See ya.